Hey, what's going on guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to House Flipper. This is episode four. We're here at the flood house and as you can see the outside is completely repaneled and looking good but there's still plenty of work to do in here. I did open up this doorway here because this is going to be the kitchen and I didn't want you to have to go through a door to get into the kitchen. So that's all opened up. We got the bathroom right here. This I guess is a bedroom and then this is a small little room. I don't think you'd make this a bedroom. Maybe a laundry room. And then you've got the biggest bedroom in the house right here. So I was looking through the buyer notes and it appears that the majority of these buyers would prefer a one bedroom house. So I think we're going to, instead of doing like two bedrooms, a laundry room, bathroom and a kitchen, you need like a hangout place, don't you? I mean, I would want one, you know, a place to kick back, watch some TV or play video games. So let's just knock down all these walls and turn these two rooms into one big room. We'll put a couch, a TV, a couple of chairs, a place to sit and read. You know, and it'll open up this floor plan a lot more because it's pretty claustrophobic in this little hallway right here. So let's just go ahead and start knocking some walls down. Okay, there we go. We lost the light switch here. I think I went a little bit too far with taking this wall out. We may have to add a little bit of it back in. You know, see how this only comes out one block and over here it comes out four. So we might have to even that up. Uh, the light switches, though, this switch controls these lights, and the switch we lost must have controlled this light. So, now, if I install a switch over here, will it know automatically to turn on this light? Like, will it know that the, the light that it's closest to, that's, that's what the switch is for, or am I going to have to wire it? I don't know. I've never installed one of these things before, so let's just try it and see what happens. Is that, is that good? These switches seem kind of high. Uh, all right, let's just go uh, right there. Oh, look at that. That's cool. It just works. Don't you wish things were like that in real life? Okay, let's remove that old switch, put in a new one, so they're all they all match. And that and look at that. It just works, man. How fucking beautiful is that? All right, let's get this wall sorted. And then we'll go around and we'll replace the rest of the light switches in the house. I believe we have one in the hallway, one in the bathroom, one in the kitchen, and one in the bedroom. But let's bring this wall out four blocks. So that's three. And then one more is four. And then we should run the uh, little piece of wall along the ceiling, just like we did at the kitchen entrance. Because it looks weird going uh, all the way to the ceiling like that. There you go. And it'll look better once it's all painted. Let's go ahead and replace the light switches, like I said. Let's get a couple of doors installed here. We only need two of them, one for the bathroom and one for the bedroom, because the front door and the back door are actually in good shape. Let's make sure the lock is on the inside of the bathroom and make sure we're lined up good here. I don't like how the game allows you to install it just off slightly you know what i mean like it should snap into place i feel like because if, if you install it just off slightly you can't move it at that point you have to you know get rid of it and, and do it all over again and i mean i get it you know if you install things incorrectly and you screw shit up it costs you money but at the same time i feel like certain things should just snap into place this door framework on the inside is going to have to be painted i mean the whole place has to be painted, but I think we'll do the flooring first, and we'll start with the bathroom. There we go, that looks good. Now, I don't think I'm going to tile the walls, I'll just paint them. It would be nice if you can tile, like, halfway up the wall, you know, just like the bottom half, but you can't, you got to do the whole panel. There we go. I really like the paint job. Um, and it goes well with the floor, but not so much with this green sink, but what are you going to do? Probably should have done like a light blue sink or something, or even a white or gray. There, a little bit of artwork to finish the bathroom off, and we are done in here. Alright, what's next? I guess we'll do this room by room, right? And the next easiest room to do would be the bedroom. Yeah, the dark hardwood looks nice. I like that. Let's throw an area rug down 
and then paint. And I think we'll go with a neutral color in here, something like a beige. All right, there we go, looking good. Now, let's, um, let's move this paint out into the hallway for now instead of selling it. Because we might want to use it in another room, and if we don't, we can always sell it later. And uh, now let's furnish this room. Okay, I think that's good. I, feel, I know, I feel weird. There should be, like, the dresser should be under the TV, I feel like. But there wasn't that much room because I put the thing by the foot of the bed. That's good. You guys got to bear with me here, you know? I'm not an interior decorator. This guy wants more than one shelf. Let's let's give him a shelf then. Let's see what we got. Um, how about this right here? That's more than one. That's two. Okay, bedroom is done. You know what? Let's finish putting in the flooring throughout the rest of the house and we'll start with the kitchen. Okay, flooring is done throughout, and it's not bad. We got carpet in the TV room, hardwood in the hallway, and in the bedroom, tile in the kitchen and in the bathroom. Not bad. We got a lot more painting to do, some more furnishing, and then we're pretty much done. We might do a little bit out in the backyard, but probably not much. Maybe throw in a barbecue and some seating, maybe a pool. I don't know. Well, the kitchen's already white, and we're going to keep it that way, but we have to repaint anyway because of uh, all the plastering we had to do in here. Uh, you know what? Fuck it, let's just carry the white through the hallway too. All right, we're gonna go with the sand almond for this room. I think it'll look good with the uh, color carpet we put in here. Plus, I like to go against my initial thoughts a lot of the times when I'm doing stuff like this because my initial thought was blue and I always want to paint shit blue so it's nice to step out of that familiar zone for a little bit do something different do something you normally wouldn't do and see how it turns out and look already I think it looks pretty damn good all right painting is done we can go ahead and sell these two cans we're not gonna need those and I like the way this room came out, man, and to think I was going to paint it blue. All right, well, I guess we just got to furnish this room and the kitchen, and that's it. Well, I don't want to put the fridge up against the wall. I don't know. For, to me, that just doesn't look right, so we're going to have to shift everything over to the right a bit so we can fit another cabinet against the wall. Okay, that, the kitchen's not so bad, right? For my first time? Come on, give me a break. Now let's get a house plant in here. Bam, and we're done. Let's move on to the TV room. Alright, that's it, I think. It's nice and clean, it's not too cluttered. I like it in here. Now, I know I'm supposed to be appeasing the buyers and not myself, but whatever, dude. This is done. Right? We're good to go. We could sell this place, but maybe we'll do a little bit of work out here. What can we add in the backyard? Maybe just a swing seat? Fuck it, let's put in a pool, right? Who doesn't want a pool? And then that's it, we're done. Bam. I'm not going to waste any more time or money on this place. Let's just put it on the auction and see what we can make. 80 grand, 83 grand. Now we've got about 57,000 into this place. 58,000. 87. Can we hit 90,000? There it is. 90 grand, 92 grand. And he is the winner. That leaves us that gives us $35,000 in profit. Fuck yeah, we'll take that. All right, here we are with $108,000 in the bank. You know what? Let's buy the house with a secret. We can afford that place, right? Yes, we can. And 
I saw this when I was looking into this game. I saw someone playing on this on this house, and there is a hidden room with a Van Gogh painting in it that you can sell for like over 50 grand. A and that's almost what the house is worth. So from the profit from the painting and from fixing up and selling the house, that should give us enough money to buy one of these bunker homes. So let's go ahead and buy this house, get in there, and uh, I'll show you where that painting is at. All right, this place is a wreck. Dude, the grass needs to be cut. It's graffiti everywhere. Oh shit, look at this. What a mess. All right, we need to find the basement. Here it is. Get down here, clean up some of this junk. And the hidden room is right behind this wall. It's not really hidden. You can see it if you look on the mini-map. You can see that there's a room there. It's just walled off. So let's get out our sledgehammer and bust this wall open here. Okay, let's get this piece of furniture out of the way here. We could probably sell this too. I mean, it looks like a, an old vintage piece of furniture. How much is it worth? Damn, almost a grand. Yeah, we'll sell that. We'll sell this too. Screw it. And the painting, over $56,000. Let's sell that bad boy. Look at that, man. We almost got our money back already on this place. We haven't done shit except bust a wall open. So, um, we'll probably actually open this all up down here and make it a nice big open basement. But, uh, not gonna do that all right now. I just wanted to get in here and kind of show you guys where that painting was at. And, um... What I'll probably do is is do this home off camera. I'll get it all cleaned up, and uh, I'm not going to put too much time and effort into it. We'll just get it cleaned up, and uh, maybe paint it or whatever, and and back on the market. We'll get our money back plus some, and like I said, that should be enough money to buy us a bunker home, and that's what we'll do in the next episode. Get the bunker home, spend some time there, make it real nice, maybe enter the garden contest. And then the, ne the next and last thing I want to do with this game is, is the Home Alone house. And then I'll probably put this game to bed after that. I mean, I am enjoying playing it, but um, I want to bring other games to this channel as well. And, and bringing three games at once to the channel is too much for me. You know, I, I, bouncing back and forth between two is not so bad. I can handle that. So I want to get a couple more episodes of this game under my belt. Like I said, do the Bunker House, do the Home Alone House, and then probably move on after that. Play something that's a little bit more exciting, something that involves murder and blood and killing. You know, something that's right up my alley. <laughs> so anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to end the episode here. And like I said, I'm going to flip this house off camera, get a bunch of money from it, and then we'll start the next episode with buying one of those bunker houses. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're enjoying this short little series we're doing with this game. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for a brand new 7 Days to Die series I got coming up real soon, and I will catch you guys in the next video.